Hi guys, I'm Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. Norm, we're on a couch. It's uh, Wayne's World. It's very relevant these days. Party time, excellent. Uh, this is a Wii U. It's a Nintendo's new game console system, about a week and a half old now. Yeah. And uh, you have the black version. Yeah, there's two versions in stores, a uh, black version and a white version. Key differences are internal storage. This one has 32 gigs of internal storage. The white one only has uh, 8 gigs of internal storage. So if you want to buy downloadable games from the eShop or the Nintendo Store, whatever the hell they're calling it now, you have to buy a USB hard drive if you get the white version. And 8 gigs means that not all 8 gigs are usable either. Uh, you know, I, I don't have an 8 gig one, so I haven't been able to test mm -hmm. that. But uh, the other big difference is that it comes with a cradle for the gamepad, the, mm -hmm. the 32 gig one uh, as well. And I think it actually has a copy of Nintendo Land as well uh, bundled in. Is so the gamepad also white on the, the white one? The gamepad is white on the white one. Okay. So uh, yeah, if you want a black gamepad, you gotta buy the more expensive model. It's 350 bucks. So basically you pay 50 bucks more and you get the gamepad, uh, you get the black gamepad and you get Nintendo Land for free, which and is also the cradle. Title. And the cradle. And the storage. It's totally worth it to get the black one. Yeah. The only downside is that the smudges appear more on the black one. I, I think they're very fingerprinty. They're both shiny plastic, so they're both going to fingerprint up. The black one gets crazy fingerprinty really, really fast. Let's talk about this cradle for a second. Yeah, it's a it's a kind of interesting design. It's not something I'd seen before. Uh, it's a power only cradle, so that's that's worth mentioning. But the way it works is there's these two little wheels on the side here, and then there's a button. So when you put the cradle down, it pushes the power contacts up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, so you slide it in, and it just kind of rolls into place. It's a, it's a really nice piece of hardware design. So it feels Nintendo. when it's actually the gamepad is locked in place, it's not going to slip off. Yeah, it's not like a, it's not like an, if you're used to iPhone cradles or, or even you know uh, Nexus cradles, whatever for your for your cell phone, where you have an actual physical connector that has to slide in. It's it's much more easy to use than that. And this just uses the normal power brick for the gamepad. Uh, if if you want to plug the power brick in while you're playing a game because you run out of juice or something, and that just plugs into a wall. This just plugs into a wall. It has a, a big wall. It's not a wall wart. It's actually a, like a smaller version of the Wii U power brick. Okay. So, yeah. Two prong adapter. Two prong adapter. Very straightforward. Um, the way I have it set up in my living room, I plug that in uh, by the couch, and then the Wii U is plugged in, in the entertainment center. So I just drop this in when I'm done. And it, stays it seems like it would be useful to have uh, the charging dock by your entertainment center plugged into the wall, and then also a separate charging cable. Uh, that you can plug in just for the gamepad. Well, it's interesting you say that. They do provide a secondary uh, charging. Uh, like it's not a charging thing. It's just a piece of plastic to hold the Wii U gamepad. Uh, you can put that by your by your console. I assume that this comes with the um, with the white one as well in a in a white model. Uh, there's a couple other pieces of random plastic. There's these two little U stands which you can put on the bottom of the Wii U in order to set it up vertically if you want to do that. Uh, we should talk about the hardware a little bit. There's uh, basically it's a it's a three-core IBM CPU inside the box with a modified Radeon graphics. Uh, the clock speeds came out today. They're around 1.2 gigahertz, I think, for the CPU cores. Okay. It's really difficult to say, okay, seven years ago, the Xbox 360 yeah. launched with a 3.2 gigahertz core. This is 1.4. I don't know anything. They haven't released any of the details and in the inner of the architecture. But you can't compare CPU clock speeds architecture to architecture. No. So if and what matters more is the the graphics anyway. Yeah, really. Yeah. Fr frankly, that's and, and and the bigger thing is that unlike the GameCube to the Wii, which used very similar hardware, almost identical. Yes, this is actual redesigned hardware, so the compatibility is not going to be possible. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, there there is backwards compatibility with Wii. They drop backwards compatibility with the right. Wii U. Right. Uh, I mean, with the GameCube, rather. So, uh, and I think that's mainly because they didn't want to include the GameCube ports on this. If you it's recall, also a fairly large console for a Wii. It's, it's, it's kind of deep. It's a little longer than the yeah. old than the old Wii was. So yeah. take that into consideration if you're, you don't have too much. If your uh, living room entertainment center isn't that yeah. deep, or you're putting on a shelf or something, it it, um, it doesn't seem to generate as much heat as say a first gen Xbox or a PS3. Um, I have it in an enclosed space in the entertainment center. It hasn't done any weird crashing. Yeah, is there an, an orientation that is more conducive to airflow? I like the vertical orientation just because it takes up less space, and I don't want to stack it on, on top of something else that is going to be more heat sensitive. So what, what's on the actual console in um, terms of ports? So there's a few things on the back. Uh, there's a power adapter, which is actually a new power adapter. It, it looks like the old one, but it's, it's chiral, so it's left-handed instead of right-handed. Uh, there's the old component GameCube cable, so if you have component GameCube, GameCube or Wii, Wii cables, yep. you can plug them straight in here. There's an HDMI out, which I think is new. I don't think any of the Wiis that I've nope. seen had HDMI. And then it has the same power connector for the sensor bar. Yeah. It's essentially just uh, like a 5-volt USB power connector. 
it's the exact same sensor bar as the old one. I think the one that comes with this is black instead of silver, like my Wii one. Uh, I literally plugged the Wii one in. And, a lot of people use fine. wireless sensor bars yeah. also. Those still work. In a pinch, you can plug, put two candles about a foot apart underneath your TV. And, and no, uh, no HDMI cable to go in there. No, it comes with an HDMI oh, cable. It does. Okay. Yeah, the, the black one does. I think the white one doesn't, but I'm not sure about that. Okay. Uh, and then there's two USB ports on the back, two more USB ports on the front inside a little door, uh, and an SD card slot. So you can you can use the SD card from your Wii to transfer over your save games. We'll talk about that stuff in what, a minute. Can you use the SD card to store actual games download, or is if you buy the white one, that 8 gig is all you have? You know, you if you need to store games that you've downloaded, you plug a USB, they recommend you plug a USB hard drive in. Okay. Um, and I don't know if that's because they need to put a special proprietary file format on it, or what, but basically you plug a USB into the USB hard drive into the back ports on the Wii and then just leave it in the back of your entertainment center. So even if you have the, the 8 gig one, you're not that constrained. You're not boned. Okay. It's not and, like and buying the 2 gig uh, Xbox 360 five right. years ago. Right. And, and the fact that you can do a regular USB hard drive or USB thumbstick in the back, a fast one yeah. at least, is better than a proprietary drive that you have to buy like from Microsoft. Definitely to plug better. In. Yeah. I mean, it's, if you look at a 250 gig hard drive from Microsoft, it's the most expensive uh, physical disk based storage you can buy at, at this point. So. Um, so that's the hardware in the box. Let's talk about the gamepad for a little bit. And that's I, the big thing. I, yeah, this is this is the interesting story. Um, so this is basically there's it's all the controls you'd expect on a normal uh, gamepad for a PS3 or an Xbox. It is two analog sticks. They're clicky, uh, just like on Xbox and PS3. Uh, four four face buttons, a D-pad, two triggers, uh, two bumpers. The triggers aren't analog. So they're this all was, digital. Yeah, yep. they're all digital. There's no that means there's no they're not potentiometers inside. I mean, like for games like GTA 4, a GTA style game where driving, you have to actually hold the trigger down halfway for acceleration. Do you, is that the way? I don't think, I think GTA you're thinking 4. about Gran Turismo. No, GTA I don't think 4. GTA was, was it accelerator? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you, basically driving games is the big thing you're losing mm -hmm. here. Shooting games, I actually find the, the digital triggers to be a lot better because you don't have yeah, on and uh, off. the lag. Fire, yeah, fire, exactly. don't fire. Um, but, but you won't have uh, kind of delicate control over gas and brake in racing games. Um, there's an accelerometer gyroscope inside, just like with the Wii Motion Plus. So it, that means it has uh, much better resolution than the initial Wii Motes did for spatial uh, for, resolution. For, yeah, it's it's not just acceleration; it's also a relation uh, a position relative to the center of the Earth, or you know, if you're on the Moon, the center of the Moon, whatever the biggest source of gravity sure. is in your in your area. Um, so a camera on the front. A front-facing camera, it's a relatively low res, like one megapixel camera, the same as everything else that we see these days. Um, it has a couple microphones. It has speakers uh, there on the bottom here. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, what else? What am I forgetting? A stylus for stylus, the touch screen. Of course. Oh, and of course, uh, oh, headphone jack. So you can plug in and, and wear a pair of headphones and not disturb the a people around you. slider for volume. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. You keep an eye on that. Yeah. Oh God, you okay? Yeah, sorry. I, I it's, it's, yeah, it's like it's way out of my line of sight if I'm trying to look at the camera when we're not. What's the angle? Is it? That's better. Spooky face. Where should I pick up? I'll, I'll start with those, a camera. Okay. Start with the speakers? It was right before the speakers. Okay. Microphone. Okay. So there's a microphone and a pair of speakers there on the bottom. The microphone is actually down here on the front. Uh, it seems like there's some noise canceling when you use the video chat, which is pretty janky. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the, the noise canceling was pretty good. And there's um, also a slider for the volume bar. Yeah. And on the bottom, there's actually a port that's not the same port that you'd find on other uh, Nintendo peripherals. It's an accessory port, I think, for accessories yet to be named. They have um, not announced any accessories yet. They have not. Uh, the power charges based on these two big pads on the bottom, mm -hmm. not using this port when you plug into the cradle, or you use the top, the top uh, accessory port, the AC adapter port up here. There's yeah. a headphone jack. Okay. So you can plug in when you're sitting on the couch and somebody else will be watching TV and you can be playing games and won't disturb anyone in the area. And of course, well, there's also yeah, there's also a weird um, uh, this thing over here mount on the back. Too, um, like a little oh yeah, there's, that's a, exactly right. There's a, a screw mount. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but right here it's like a tripod mount. But you can't really camera. put this on a tripod at I, all. I have no idea. Yeah. I, I have to assume it's for like kiosks 
Or maybe if you have somebody who's disabled or something, you'll put a mount it to their mount it in front of them so they can just use one hand or something. I don't or, know. Or a giant accessory that plugs into the bottom and also screws. Yeah, in. kind of like the Kidic or a stand for yeah. uh, the 3DS. Uh, the big thing though is the touchscreen. So it's a it's like a six inch touchscreen. It's uh, 480p. It's a kind of weird resolution. Say 848 by 480. Okay. Um, it's not really a multiplier. Multiple. 854 by 480. 854 by 480. Thanks. Um, it's a single point touchscreen. I think it's a resistive touchscreen. It works with a stylus. It also works much better with your finger than you're used to if you if you came from a DS screen or even I think a 3DS screen. Um, but it's not as smooth capacitive. Only one point touch. Only one point touch. It, it, yeah, you're not going to be playing kind of iOS style games with mm -hmm. this. Uh, uh, at least I can't imagine that that would work very well. Although it, it does. It is very, uh, it's much more finger friendly than the original DS screen was. So if you played a lot of DS games and you were used to jumping over and trying to mash the button and not hitting the, th you know, the DS games had massive touch targets, basically. Yeah. So uh, it's much more sensitive to that. You can use fingers with the on-screen keyboard, which is nice. And then uh, what's not included, though, are your traditional yeah, th Wiimotes. There's a bunch of stuff not included that you're going to really need if you want to play, especially the kind of couch-friendly party games like Nintendo Land and you know the, your traditional stuff. So um, you're going to need Wiimotes for as many people as you want to play. A lot of games support one player on the gamepad, plus four more players with Wiimotes and or nunchucks. Mm -hmm. um, now, most of those games won't work with the, the old original Wii remote. Uh, they have to have the gyroscope enabled Wii Motion Plus one. You can buy those separately for 40 bucks. You may already have some. Uh, they came with uh, Skyward Sword and I think Wii Sports Resort or, may, or maybe Wii Play Motion, something like that. Uh, if you don't have those, then you have to find some of these guys. The condom plus the gyroscope attachment. It is super unwieldy and not very good. Yeah. Um, I think it was about 20 bucks when it was new. Uh, basically, you slide your old Wii remote in and then snap uh, the, the thing into place. You have to make sure you get your lanyard in the appropriate place, which means threading it through. It's a big pain in the ass. Now, a few games, even though they aren't supposed to technically work without the Wii Motion Plus, do work. So if you're playing games like New Super Mario Brothers, Wii U... Where you're using the, uh, the stick as just a Just controller. as a gamepad. Mm -hmm. It works fine. It doesn't even complain. It doesn't say, hey, you need to plug in your Motion yeah. Plus attachment. Uh, Nintendo Land, most of those mini games required Motion Plus. So. But I like core gaming. If you are a core gamer, uh, then this is what you want. It's the Pro Control Pad. Uh, I haven't used this at all for any of the games that I've played so far. So this is um, for Mass Effect, Assassin's Creed. Uh, exactly. Um, and although some of those games do have ex attachments uh, to the gamepad, you can, I think, also play them. Well, the gamepad is all the buttons. That the this, Call of Duties. The, this, the gamepad is all the buttons that it's this, exactly this Pro right. Controller has. Um, I don't find the gamepad to be uncomfortable to hold for long periods of time. I kind of expected to because it's a little bit big, but it's lighter than you'd expect. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, if you if you think about the density of an iPhone or an iPad or something like this that, is, it's way dense, way lighter way than that. There's no. It feels like there's no battery here. Exactly. Well, there's very battery. It's basically a dumb terminal for the for right. the Wii U. They could have put more battery in here, but the amount of battery in here they put about three four hours. It four seems like hours. on normal use. Um, you can, it's, like I said, again, that adapter in the top and just keep going. Um, for longer play sessions, games that don't require the screen, I think the Pro Controller is going to be a more comfortable solution. It has a rechargeable battery built in, charges off of a mini USB port. Um, it seems, I have, like I said, I haven't used it, so I don't know what the battery life's like. Um, it's very analogous to an Xbox 360 gamepad. A couple more things about both the uh, Pro Controller and the gamepad. They have uh, doors on the back, so you can replace the battery yourself. You don't mm. have to send them off like you do with the PS3 controller. What type of batteries are um, they? I have no idea. Okay. They're, it's a proprietary specific pack that Nintendo's designed. Um, the Wiimotes, as always, use double A's. Yeah. So, and the nunchucks, if you buy those, you power off of the Wiimotes. A uh, couple things that don't work anymore, the old classic controllers, both the original kind of hockey puck shaped mm -hmm. one and the one with the two arms, that they don't work anymore with anything. So oh, uh, they're awesome. gone. There's no GameCube backwards compatibility, so your WaveBird is finally going to get retired. Um, that's pretty much it. Th those are the control options. If you're picking this up to play New Super Mario Brothers in Nintendo Land, you're going to want Wiimotes uh, if you're going to play with a bunch of people in the room. So uh, All right. yeah, I think let's, that's everything uh, about the hardware. Let's stop talking about the hardware and actually play some Wii U. Let's plug it in. So this is the Wii U. Wow, this is uh, looks like a playground. So the asymmetrical aspect starts already because I have on my screen 
um, uh, the, like the menu, like the grid of icons from the Wii U, Sim similar, not exactly the same. Okay. Um, what you're seeing here is kind of a kind of casual implementation of the Miiverse. Right. This is what shows up on the TV. Now, the TV actually doesn't have to be on for uh, for you to actually play your games or or even browse, see this Miiverse. Um, it kind of depends on the games. So some games you can definitely play entirely on the gamepad, which is awesome if you if you yeah. have contention for the TV. I, mm -hmm. I have that in my house. I think you probably do too, given the number of people who live there. Um, what this Miiverse thing that we're seeing right now is is the kind of the the browsable, easy, friendly face of the Nintendo social network and online platform. And what happens is, as you're playing games, the Wii U says, "Hey, um, what did you think about this level?" Or do you, you know, if you die a lot in a level, it says, "What do you want to tell Bowser about this level?" Which is kind of neat. Um, and you can either send a text message or you can draw something. You're seeing a lot of the drawings popping up here. Um, pretty and, good drawings. And people do crazy good drawings. Yeah, just on, using on that this. pen. Yeah, just using the stylus and the touch screen. Wow. Um, they, they've also done a pretty good job of filtering out the normal internet filth. Um, I haven't seen any dicks on this so far. That's impressive. Which is really, like, given the, the internet, you right. know, if this was on Xbox Live, it would be a, a, just a wall of dicks at this point. So um, I'm going to switch over and we'll show you the menu. The basic initial setup... And right now, what happens, the image swaps. Yeah. So now I have the Miiverse on the gamepad mm -hmm. uh, and and the grid of icons. And to be clear, TV. this is all wirelessly being beamed over from the console to the gamepad. Yeah, just to, yeah. so that's a super good point because the, the, the big point of failure for this is if this video experience on this tablet wasn't any good, this would be a complete no-go. Yeah, on the gamepad. Um, so what Nintendo has put into the Wii U are multiple wireless radios. Yeah, there's a there's, ton. There's a Wi-Fi to mm -hmm. connect to your router, which can be 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, uh -huh. two one one n Broadcom chip. And they have a separate Broadcom chip that's a that. direct connection between, um, between the gamepad and the Wii U. And yes. that's a 5 gigahertz connection always. Yeah. So you get the most bandwidth possible. And I think the router connection will automatically switch depending on the and, and it seems like that's seamless. Like you don't know. Yeah. I've played a ton. I've walked into the kitchen from my house, kitchen, other rooms of my house. Right. Typically, I can get like one room away before things start getting hinky. So this is Wi-Fi direct between the pretty room much. And so what, you said one. What happens when you get one room away and the connection starts fading? Um, we can show you in a little bit. But basically, it says. It, you, you, it does like a TV blippy kind of thing. Like it's obviously contrived and it says, hey, you're too far from the base station. Mm. Move closer or we'll pause and pa it pauses the game. Basically. So about, about one room though is the range. Um, yeah, like I can get line of sight. It's, it seems like I can go 20 or 30 feet. Uh, through one wall is fine. Through two walls, it starts giving me the, hey, you're having connection problems warning. It's interesting because this is Wi-Fi and the controllers are still Bluetooth. Uh -huh. And there's also NFC, which they hadn't really implemented Yeah, that's yet. built into the gamepad. There's nothing yeah. really that uses it so far. Um, so the initial setup process is really straightforward. It says, hey, do you want to create a Mii or you can import it from your 3DS and you connect wirelessly to the 3DS and it'll pull your Mii over. The Mii that I have here is actually my 3DS Mii that was just pulled straight over. It looks just like me. Hmm. I, thought it, I thought it did a nice job. Um, you can also take a picture with the, with the um, uh, I don't know how to go back now. Oh, I guess I select me. Um, you can also take a picture with the on-screen gamepad. We can I can show that if you want. Does that create a me based on a photo? Yeah. It well, it takes the basic shape of your face and position of eyes and nose and mouth, and then lets you pick the nose and mouth and eyes and I hair think and I stuff try that, that you want. You want to do it right now? Yeah, let's try. It's it. fun. So one of the things that we'll talk about a I'll, lot. I'll be the judge of that. With the Wii U is load times. Load times in all of the menu stuff are really yeah, really bad. Yeah, that was real slow. Yeah, and it's still loading. I mean, just to be clear. So you can create, uh, Norm has the gamepad now. Okay. Uh, he is a creating me. a me. I'm going to take a photo. Now this is, this is fairly typical. A lot of the stuff, it, right now the screen is saying, right. look at it's the like Wii U gamepad. So I'm going to go select, okay, yeah. there it goes. And you're seeing on the screen yeah. the kind of result of what Norm's doing on the gamepad. Unfortunately, we can't yes. show the gamepad because the camera's not in the right place. But it's asking him about his eye color, skin tone, hair color will be next. Um, and it gets that stuff and then says, hey, do you want to take a picture? Well, no, it actually wants your hairstyle as well. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Must this, with a part is this what is, I would this say. Is, uh, this is really this phenomenally is the, This boring. is the most this, you're, you're into avatar the lady. creation. Oh, my goodness. You're into the lady hair. Right, I'm just going to do that. Okay. That looks kind of like you. Kind of. All right. Okay, so now Norm is holding the camera with both hands. He is, basically he says, frame the top of your head with one line, frame your chin with the other line. You need to pull it in a little closer, I think. Because mm. it's it's doing what it's doing right now is measuring your head space, like your head size and shape. I think. I'm gonna give it okay, to you. Okay, so I'll go back. 
It puts Norm's oh, picture on a block. You look a little worried, Norm. I think you're supposed to take your glasses off. And now the big reveal. Wow. Nope. I don't know. I think it's pretty close. Let's not use that one. Okay, there's other choices <laughs> here. Let's see. What about this guy? No, maybe not him. How about him? I think the angle, MySpace angles do not work. Yeah, you, you shouldn't have MySpace this oh one. Oh, my God. Here we go. That, and then, uh, per, has there ever what, been a me that looked more like Norm? Let's choose that one. Um, so I'm going to go. Feel free to change anything you're not happy with. I think this is perfect. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to call this one Norm. Wow. It's like a hybrid of me and Ryan Davis. It's, it's, no, this thing looked deep into your soul and came out with the picture uh, that is exactly you. Oh, my goodness. I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to save that and move on. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, let's share this. Put this online. Um, so, yeah, it made... That's the worst. It made Gina look kind of like the, um, the, the, the over-enthusiastic girlfriend meme. Wow. It was really, really super not good. Um, so that's me creation. After you do that, it's going to say, do you want to connect to the internet and update? Hey, it's going back to the menu. Yeah, this takes forever. This stuff is, is ridiculous. And they this have is after to fix all this. the updates. There have been no... So there was one big system update. Uh, that added all the online functionality. Didn't address load times. That has to be coming soon. Um, has to be. The, 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 just the time it takes to go in and out of apps and stuff is fairly ridiculous. I'm going to go switch back over here. Um, and now at this point, you can use the Wiimote to, to navigate the menu as well. Um, or you can use uh, the D-pad. Well, you can't use the D-pad because now the D-pad on my, on my controller uh -huh. is browsing this stuff. So, um, and I can zoom in or out. I can, you can go here and look and see and talk to people, see what people are saying. This guy drew a, a thing and all these people are coming over to see. Look at how happy all these people are. Yay! While well, we're both using um, the console at the same time. Yeah, and you can buy, this will take you, obviously, basically, this Miiverse thing is showing the most popular games, I assume, right now, or what people are playing. Um, it's typically Netflix, YouTube, Scribblenauts, Mario, Zombie U, and either Batman, Assassin's Creed, or... Oh, and Nintendo Land, of course. Um, okay. So here, here we go. Let's jump... Um, first patch takes a long time. It's five gigs. If you're giving this as a gift for Christmas, probably do that before you put it under the tree, before you wrap it up, because it will take... It, if you put that in front of an eight-year-old, they're going to be super bummed out. Um, this is taking so long. Yeah, this stuff this stuff takes a phenomenally long time. clicking system settings immediately. You should not have done that. It was a mistake. Um, so now this is all on the gamepad, and you guys can see this here. There's a bunch of pages of settings. Uh, it uses this kind of men menu me uh, metaphor for a bunch of icons on the bottom for each of the different things, like sensor bar position. I'm bailing out of this because I don't think we need to talk about this. We should talk about the Nintendo ID, which is kind of equivalent to the PlayStation Network ID or the Xbox ID, mm -hmm. except it's it's tied to the hardware right now. So you mm -hmm. create that after you install the patch, uh, as soon as it has internet connectivity, and that is forever, or at least for now, forever tied to this particular Wii U. Uh, Nintendo has said that there will be a customer service way to move that off and put it on a different piece of hardware, but it's not like the Xbox where you put your gamer tag on a, on a USB stick, go to, yeah. go to your friend's house, log in, and get achievements and stuff there. There's no universal achievements for the Wii U. It's, that's all uh, game-specific and is up to the individual people what, how that stuff works. Uh, before we start, start talking about apps and video and all that stuff, we should talk about the Wii backwards compatibility mode. Because while there's no GameCube back compat, uh, Wii Bat Compat does work, although it's kind of janky. Uh, go ahead and hop in there. Yeah. Uh, so there's a Wii item on the main menu. You can just click into it. Uh, when you go into this, you stop using the gamepad, and you have to start using the Wii mode, basically. And the gamepad kind of goes into a sleep mode, which you can put it in otherwise. And it's extra rebooting. Oh, it just, it's changing resolution. Huh. So it's... Uh, I wonder if our com capture stuff is not going to like this. Wait. Things are happening. So right now... The Wii U is actually rebooting into yeah. a Wii, uh, the Wii it's, mode. It's basically a Wii emulator that runs inside the Wii U. And has a reboot and change resolution for this to happen. Yeah, so when you want to use your oh, old God, Wii stuff... Oh, God, this is so ugly and familiar. It's 480p, yeah, exactly. Um, when you transfer your stuff over, I haven't done it on this console because it's permanent. It removes everything from your old console, all the stuff you bought from the Wii shop, um, all, all of the save games, all of that stuff. It removes them from the old Wii and puts them in the Wii menu on this new Wii. 
So even if you bought, say, emulated virtual console games for the Wii, you have to go into this Wii system menu in order to use that stuff. I'm going back to the Wii U um, menu. I would say go back to the Wii menu is a good choice. The transfer uh, from people I've talked to, the transfer basically you download a thing from the Wii shop on your old Wii, plug an SD card in that's two gigs, I think, um, and it copies everything over. And then you uh, bring that in uh, and run another. That kind of makes sense. They don't want of... you to, you know, steal your old a ton of old Wii stuff and put it on other people's it's, Wii U. It's really weird though because you don't. Those purchases aren't associated with your Nintendo ID, which you just created. Right. So there's no like there's no tr console to console ownership. It's all tied to the hardware. It's pretty janky, um, and, it, and I think it's frankly pretty unfortunate. Um, in an elegant solution. Yeah, they have an opportunity here to tie this stuff to the user, and it seems like even on the Wii U, it's still probably tied to the user and the hardware now, which is which is super weird. Um, you see, you see, you're navigating around this men, this uh, Miiverse stuff, um, and you can get into a more granular view of the Miiverse if you want. It's part of the system menu, so you can go over here to the Miiverse and and click into that if you want. I'm not going to do it because it takes too long. A um, couple of other things we should talk about before we move on. I'm going to give you the menu back though, Norm. If I can, there we go. Um, updating games takes a really long time. Uh, it downloads, there's, there's nothing to update, I don't think, unless you want to click on Zombie U and see if there's an update. Um, it gives notifications when there is an update for something, um, but but launching that update process, you can skip, you can update in the background and go ahead and play the game, but then of course none of your stuff will happen if there's been any changes to like online functionality or any of that stuff. Um, I guess that's okay. It's telling, uh, I don't want to do this, I can't get out right now. Um, it's telling that when you launch an update, there's a timer at the bottom, and I'm still not sure after updating everything on the system at this point, whether that timer is showing um, uh, minutes and seconds or hours and minutes hmm. to do the update. Ouch. Uh, I'm going to go back out and, and exit out here. So let's talk about the shop, and then we'll go over into games and, and, at, and at video apps and stuff like that. Um, the shop, which I'm going to access from here, uh, is has a lot of full games on it, full retail games. Okay. Um, it seems like it's publisher by publisher. Activision isn't on there. And you can only navigate the shop using the gamepad. Um, I think you can do both. Huh. I, I, I haven't actually tried that. Um, the shop stuff, anytime you have to interact with stuff, it seems like touch works better than, than using a D-pad or something like that. So I'm controlling this from the gamepad right now. You can tap into stuff. Like I said, you can buy a bunch of full retail games on here. The Nintendo stuff is all here. Um, uh, Cod Blops like too. Cod Blops is here now. That wasn't there before. Um, oh wait, no, retail only. So, so see, some of these are retail only. Um, eventually, I'll find one. These might be all Marvel Avengers. Uh, uh, that's a terrible game. Um, let's go find new Super Mario Brothers or Zombie U. So, Zombie U is something you can download from the eShop. I did that actually. Pay sixty uh, bucks. Pay sixty bucks. You download it. The download takes a long time, but it does run in the background. Then the install process takes a long time, and it has another one of those tickers that I wasn't sure whether it was minutes and seconds or hours and minutes. It just took a long time, and I went and Zoom did something Zoom hours else. and minutes. Yeah. Um, I would say for now, also because of the questions about whether these, these purchases are tied to the hardware or to the user account, I would say you're better off buying discs wherever possible. So um, don't, don't buy stuff from if the... If you buy the disc, the, you can't get the download. You can't get the down. You, you no. You don't get the download yeah. with the disc. Yeah. But then at least you can take the disc to your friend's house with this. I have no idea if you can take the disc to your, uh, the download. There seems to be no way to take the download to a friend's house. Um, and there's also questions about whether, like, if your Wii U dies, are you going to be able to recover those games? How is that going to work? It was really, really janky with the Wii and even with the 3DS. Uh, I hope that they're going to fix that and make it more clear. But as for right now, just buy discs. They're, they're transferable and much better. Um, and they cost the same. You're not even getting it. It's not even like with the Vita, where you get a discount if you buy a, 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 the download. You're you're paying full. So price. you're like you're like resting the gamepad on your lap. Yeah, one hand on lap, and you know this, it's, this is comfortable because you're not holding it up. No, you're, never, you're, you're just resting it. You're uh, you're resting your lap. I mean, I use it the same way. I use a tablet or the way same way I hold a game controller with a PS3 or or an Xbox. Uh, I'm going to exit out here. Back to the menu. Let's talk about video apps. Okay. Because you have Netflix, YouTube, and Hulu Plus. Uh, and Amazon. And so Amazon. It's kind of all the places that I stream video on a regular basis from. And the implementations are kind of up and down. So I think you might even be able to go into them from here. Try and click on that and yeah, see. Yeah, so I can go to Netflix right here. Oh, nope. That's, nope oh, that's... you know, you can start it. Yeah, there you go. 
So we're going to jump right into Netflix. Um, the implementations are way up and down on these. Some are quite good. Some are kind of janky. Netflix is pretty firmly in the middle. Um, so what's, what's a good one? So the stuff that makes the implementations good are that you can use it on the TV, you can use it on the gamepad. You're not tied to one or the other, but you can choose what works best for you given the situation at the time. Um, the Netflix app, you can view things on both the gamepad and the TV. It's relatively easy to switch. Again, the really long load times here. This is, wow. this is terrible. This does, is, does it have any like, uh, you know, like Amazon X-Ray stuff? Uh, it doesn't do X-Ray stuff. Uh, or smart glass type things were not no not really it's more uh we'll have like oh, yeah. well so here's the first question you always have do you want the kid friendly one where there's no weird kind of soft core porn and it's mostly kid stuff or do you want full i want the adults only one full netflix you want it's nothing only but the porn. soft core porn and documentaries oh man if only if yeah. only they had you liked saucy romantic thrillers mm -hmm. who knew um some dudes licking elijah wood's face so what what you're seeing here is uh, can you use the Wiimote here? I don't I think cannot. you can. Yeah. Does the D-pad work for you? D-pad does not work. No. Either. So this is a pure. This is this is the issue with the Netflix app. You can do everything from the pad, which is great. But if you don't have the pad, you can't really do anything. Interface looks a little different too. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, analogous to the old school original. It's like a modified version of the original Netflix set top interface. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, you have all the stuff that you can normally the like the kind of semi-curated things you may like based on what you watch. I watch Workaholics, so here's a bunch of other stuff that's like Workaholics. Um, here are things in categories that I typically like, like gory action and adventure, right? Uh, you can browse through all that. You can also search. The search uses the on-screen keyboard, which is pretty good. Uh, what would you like to watch, Norm? Uh, let's watch a horror movie. Oh, you went for a genre instead of a specific title. How, is that how you spell horror? Yeah. Yes. Um, so it pops up with a bunch of stuff, oh, and it's okay. yeah, it's Netflix sure. search at this point. So yeah. playback is just fine. Playback is fine. It'll do HD. Uh, the display for TV stuff is pretty good, so you can see TV episodes. Oops, let's go. Uh, I find using the stick is better than using the pad. Um, so Freaks and Geeks is on here. You can add it to your queue with the plus button. You can hit play, and it'll just start playing whatever's next in your queue. But you can also hit this button, and it'll give you a listing of seasons and episodes. So Freaks and Geeks is probably a bad one since there's only one season. Uh, I'm going to find Friday Night Lights. This is good because there's a whole bunch of seasons of this. And you can browse by season on the pad. It gives you the normal plot synopsis. And it's a pretty good way to browse TV on Netflix. Like I said, it doesn't pick up where you left off or it doesn't seem to. Uh, hopefully that'll come soon. Uh, but then once you actually start playing something, which I'll do now. Uh, wow. Get her buffering. done, really? Yeah, so there's a little bit of buffering. On the pad, it gives you the synopsis uh, and controls. Mm -hmm. uh, you oh, okay. can go so to the season breakout. It, that stops your playback, though, which is kind of a bummer. Um, we're going to buffer some more. Yeah, if only there was a way to tap in the database. Yeah, but you can switch back and forth between the pad and the and the TV. Oh, that's cool. And that's it's really fast, which is nice. Yeah. Um, you can also post, uh, uh, change like audio and stuff like that. There's no Miiverse integration with this, which I think would be kind of cool. It would be nice to be able to say, hey, I'm watching Friday Night exactly. Lights now. That's, that's what Xbox had. All right, let's get out of Friday Night Lights. Yeah. But if, if you use the camera and, for example, did like a little Google Hangout style chat room yeah. on the gamepad while you're watching you can't do on that. Netflix. That's out of the question. Oh. Uh, so Netflix, like I said, is pretty good. It's not the best video implementation on the, on the device. What's, what's, a, what's a terrible one? Um, I, you know... I'm looking at my list here. YouTube is probably the bad one if I had to if I had to pick pick least favorites, um, and that's because it, you have to use both the gamepad and the TV, uh, and you can't watch the video on the pad only, which I find really like it's really weird. Why would you not be able to watch still, YouTube video? Still on the waiting gamepad? for a great YouTube on set top box implementation. So I'm going to go into YouTube now. We'll show that next. Jumping in. Do, do, do. So much waiting. Now, in fairness, I like the way the nav works on this. I just, it's unfortunate that it's only on the TV. You can't do it on the gamepad. Wow. It's loading. Yep. More loading. Yep. Worst uh, game of Menu Hero ever. So one thing that's nice about this is you can sign in, so you can get all your subscriptions mm -hmm. and recommendations and all that stuff. The channels you subscribe to, Does it work to, with like, streaming? Um, I don't know if it works with streaming. It's hard to find... Stuff that's streaming live on YouTube. Puppy cams. Puppy cams? Are YouTube live stream now? Yep. Wow, I wish I had puppies. Um, so this it goes jumps in straight to your subscriptions. This is my personal YouTube 
account, so it's not uh, like our yeah, tested stuff. Yeah, it's a decent interface. It's pretty good, and you go up and down to go specific to things that you want. So if you want to watch some awesome videos from a site like Testedcom, mm -hmm. you can. Um, the only and, and on the screen, on the gamepad screen, what you're getting is uh, the kind of description stuff, stats about it, how many people watch comments? it, whether it's likes. Um, you know, I don't think there's comments. Well, that's that's probably a good thing. Yeah, I'm, I, I didn't miss them, it turns out, YouTube comments. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this video because we can play this video on our channel. Mm -hmm. um, quality is good? The quality is, uh, is as good as this horse video. So, I mean, this looks fine. And then how, how's scrubbing? Let's see if you want to scrub to the action. Uh, that's get, a get really the good... End. It, so, it, it... Hold on. You use the sticks and the pad. There's no touch update Oh, for that. that's so, terrible. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't Wait, know. and now you just jump to another I episode. just fast-forwarded to the next video. How do you scrub? Let's see, more... That is How about shoulder buttons? Nope. Uh, shoulder. Wait. Go back. Get it out of here. Oh, here we go. I don't know how I made that happen, but it just fast forwards. It's not. It's like thirty seconds ahead. Not. Gosh, if it had some type of like touch based scrubbing on the gamepad, that would be much better. So Netflix has that. A bunch of the other apps have that. YouTube is the only one that does. It. All right, let's get out of YouTube. Um, bailing out of YouTube now, sir. Um, you can't do messages and stuff like that on YouTube. So, and you can't even like videos, which is kind of a bummer. Hmm. Uh, I'm exiting back I out. I only hate videos. You can't even hate videos. Oh, well, maybe. if only. Yeah. So now we go back to the waiting for the menu to load. This always seems like it takes longer each time, but it's about a minute, forty-five seconds usually. And that doesn't like. change if you like reboot the Wii or anything. No, no, it's it's it doesn't seem to get worse or better. It just takes forever. Oh, uh, and wait. So there's the waiting period, and then it says, please wait for a second, which mm. I like. It's kind of adding insult to injury. It's, it's really nice. Um, see, my guy is exhausted from having to wait so long. If they had some type of, like, while it's loading, some animation. Anything. Some animated GIFs or something. It about... shouldn't take that long to load. Yeah, that's that's true. the fundamental problem. Uh, let's go look at Amazon. All right. So it, the thing that was interesting to me is each of these is a little bit different. Yeah. There's no kind of universal. They're clearly trying different stuff and seeing what works and what did, doesn't. Did Amazon and Netflix and... Google make their apps, or did Nintendo make all of them? It's unclear. Uh, the, the YouTube one specifically says licensed by Nintendo, which implies to me that Nintendo licensed YouTube and is... Uh, yeah, because it looks better themselves. than implementation on, on yeah. Xbox and other, other places. Yeah, I think that, I think that, I think that kind of depends on a, on a service by service basis who develops what. I know that Netflix, like Microsoft developed the Netflix app for, micro, for Xbox. I assume that the same is true here. Um, I have to say, they launched when they launched on Sunday a week ago. Um, none of these apps were there. Netflix was there, but none of the others were there. They've actually been very prompt rolling these out. These rolled out one a day for the first week, pretty much. So, That's good. Um, so All they've right. been they've been updating stuff. Okay, so you can put the nice thing about Amazon is you can put what's on the TV on the gamepad. You can put what's on the gamepad on the TV. Okay. So the nice thing about the Amazon app is you can put what's on the TV on the gamepad. I'm, I just tap that pull it down button. Mm -hmm. Now on the TV it says, hey, you're gamepad only mode. And it works, it's fully functional in gamepad mode, which is, which is fantastic. Um, I'm going to put it back up on the TV because I think that's a little more interesting to watch. Okay. Um, but you can watch the video on the TV or on the gamepad. That's fine. This is a little slower switching back and forth. I'll show you that in a minute. But let's, uh, let's watch, pick a video. Maybe, uh, yeah. should we watch Contact? Sure. One of the fine... Uh, Amazon Prime exclusive videos. Okay oh, to go. Damn it! How hard are you pressing? You're not even I'm using just the tapping. stylus. No, I'm not even using the stylus. It works with your finger. Um, hmm, that's weird. Why did this give me this? M maybe contact is no longer on Amazon Prime. Oh wait, I'm searching for contact. I'm gonna go to contact. Oh, there it is. Uh, and it also gave me first contact and the year we make contact and all sorts of other videos. Uh, because this is a Prime video, I can watch it now. And as you can see, I'm getting kind of the same thing on both screens now because it makes more sense to use the touch interface. Does the Wiimote work with this? The Wiimote is not working. No, no, no Wiimote. No is it waggle. on? The light's on. Yep. No waggle. Okay. That makes me... Oh, oh yeah, no, no, there it is. goes. Yeah, I thought uh -huh. it worked with this. Um, so you can hit... So you don't even have to have the gamepad on to work the Amazon Instant, which is the way this should be. Like, there should be, like, three different use cases for this. Gamepad only, gamepad plus TV, and Wiimote only. Uh, so yeah, start start watching. Only in SD, boo! I only watch things in HD. Okay, so we're not going to do that, but but for all, let's let's watch this. Okay. In its SDness, just so we can demonstrate the switching back and forth. I'll have to imagine the extra lines. Of yeah, just solution. just just squint, so it looks like you're rub some Vaseline on your eyeballs, so you're so you're you know it's a little smoother. Enhance. 
Um, right now it's on the TV only. I'm gonna pull it down. Now it's on the gamepad. Um, now it's back on the TV. It's a little, this is, like once you do this the first time, it's a little bit faster. It's a little slow. Okay, I'm gonna drag to an interesting scene. Yeah, and you can do that on this. I can also do that on the gamepad here because I, ah. I have a bar on the gamepad. We can compete to see who owns the carrot. Are you, gonna, are you trying to find okay to go? Is that what's happening here? Okay, bailing out of contact before we get the copyright police after us. Closing the software. Um, the last uh, video app is Hulu. You have to use the TV with Hulu. I, we've spent a lot of time on this. I don't know if you want to go into it, if you want to go all the way. No. You've, you've had all the Wii you can take? No, the, the Hulu is the least interesting to me. You can play... It's Hulu Plus only. You it's pay. Hulu Plus only. It has ads. Um, you can play video on either the TV or the Wiimote, but Nav requires the Wiimote, which is super lame. Mm. Um, the, uh, no HBO Go. No HBO Go yet. I'm sure that's coming. I, they just have to work out part partnership deals. Um, the, nice, the nice thing about this is there's no Nintendo-specific video-on-demand store. So I think that incentivizes Amazon and Netflix and all the other folks to actually provide a really good experience here. The Amazon experience is great. Hulu's pretty good. Netflix is pretty good. YouTube's kind of crap, frankly. I mean, but it's... Yeah. It looks nice. Yeah. I, I don't know who is buying this that doesn't already have four other streaming boxes in their, in their living room, whether they're Xboxes, PS3s, Roku's, Apple TVs, whatever. But it's a pretty good implementation all around. Okay, fair enough. Um, the last thing is this TVII TV, which is kind of their universal uh, TV guide type thing to, to make it easier for you to interact with your TiVo and your PVR and all the other places that you can get TV to make this the universal TV watcher. Unfortunately, not available. Nintendo yet. TVI will be available in December. We look forward to seeing you then. Uh, December is just a few days away, so hopefully that'll be soon. I'm exiting out. Um, and this will let you use the gamepad as a, as, as a universal remote. So it's interesting you bring that up. You can do that right now. Um, I have it set up for my remote at home. I'm not going to go through that process because it was a little bit of a hassle. Uh, it only works if you only have a cable box and a TV. You have to have a pretty simple home setup experience in order for that to work right. Um, if you have, a, say, a receiver that controls your, your TV volume, it's not going to work right at all. So um, I don't. It, that feels like the kind of weird feature you add because you have an infrared blaster on the gamepad. Um, I, I don't think it's strictly necessary. So you should uh, you should do a drawing. You you want to draw something in Meverse? You should draw something to share with the people. Um, we have to do that inside the game, so we can do that while we're playing New Super Mario Brothers. Uh, but now we have more load screens to wait through. Wow. Well, you Just can't draw you can't draw a drawing while you're in that little gathering of people. Um, no, that's stuff that you've shared from inside a game, probably. Uh, um, now you can go. I, I guess I can post a notif uh, post a message, but I'd have to send it to Gary. Um, I sent a message to Gary. The we talk. That looks like Gary. It does look like Gary. He looks much more, it's, it's every bit as good a representation of you, of Gary, as it is of you, as your we is of you. Um, this is like the individual communities, basically these are the, the, this is the place you can see what people are posting that is specific to a game. Um, what are people posting in the Amazon video community? So yeah, these. Wow, that's a creepy high there. Well, you know, not everybody can draw amazing stuff. This post contains spoilers. Yes, I want to view this post. And you oh. can get a one-up to get. That's kind of uh, yeah. cool. I, it's it's oh okay. It's kind of interesting. Like if you have more people on your friends list, I don't have that many friends with Wii U's right now. So like inside the game, you can set it to see overall posts from the community. And let, actually, let's just go to Mario Brothers, and I'll show you that. All right. Finally, gonna play a game. All this time, not playing games, and now it's time to play a game. Would you like to play Mario? Uh, yeah. Mario Brothers Wii U. Starting the game. Now, um, there are three kind of basic uh, ways to play games with the Wii U, at least that I've seen so far. Uh, one is just where the TV is the screen or the gamepad is the screen. They're both displaying more or less the same information. Um, and, and you can play those games without having the TV on even. You can just use the gamepad, which is pretty awesome. It's a fat Yoshi. It is a, it's a baby fat Yoshi. Um, the other is where the gameplay is asymmetrical. So the Wii U, the person who's the gamepad is having a completely different experience, is watching the gamepad instead of watching the TV, etc. The other one is um, 
that where, where the gamepad is kind of a, 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 an essential part of the game. So that's the example there is Zombie U, or actually even parts. Hold on, you you did no gamepad. No, no, no. I, I did one. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, in that in that setup, and that that happens in Zombie U. It happens a little bit in New Super Mario Brothers Wii U. Um, that way, you actually need to have both the TV and the gamepad on at the same time. You can't play Zombie U with just the gamepad. You can play New Super Mario Brothers with just the gamepad. Um, so as you roll around here, and you might not be able to see this, um, uh, that's hit launch. Um, see those balloons that are popping up on the main screen? Mm -hmm. uh, so those are actually posts, and you can see this on the on the remote. So this guy says, "Swim using the thumbstick." Oh, tips. Um, th so there's Community tips. Games. Yeah, there's. There's this guy says, uh, "Dear Bowser, I will find you and I assume end you." I don't know if I can see that one. I don't know how you zoom in on these. Wow. Um, and if you did something good, like this guy Caleb cleared his this map without taking damage, it says, "Hey, Caleb, cleared this without taking damage." It gives you a kind of sense of ownership and pride in something you've done. Should we play uh, this you one? Find a level. Yeah. So by default, when you play with one person with the gamepad, one person with the Wii with the Wii mode, uh, I'm going to help Norm by putting blocks out and tapping bad guys. You kind of picked a hard level to start here. Um, I can help you get to areas you might not be able to get to otherwise. So you can jump up on that. You know, I can I can tap bad guys and stun them for you. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can do. I can touch blocks. Am I playing the role of Will or Gina? You're playing the role of... Uh, uh, we do not play this way. Oh. Hey, go, go over here. There's a secret over here that you can only get if you have somebody on the gamepad. So I'll tap that. And you're gonna mash it, and then grab a three up. Ah, uh, so, oh, I read that tip. Yeah, exactly. So look, I'm helping you get up. I mean, you could just ride the sand, I guess. Um, it's pretty fun. I can also. This is boost mode. If I want to jump in, I can just jump in. What? Nope, nope. nope I don't want to connect a Wii mote. Oh damn it! Hold on. How do I do this? I have to pause. Sorry. Nope. It's not letting me do that. This worked before, and I don't remember exactly how I did it. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Maybe I have to do it on the on the big menu. But you can also play with the gamepad and a and a Wii mm -hmm. I I don't know exactly how. But I you do can't it. do it middle of the game. It seems like I can't do it in the middle of a level. Um. But yeah. So oh, you found a secret, and I'll give you a platform to get up there. Right up your sand. Oh no! I don't want to do that. Oh, Jesus, Norm, have you ever played a Mario game before? You know, you could actually hinder someone, too. With that oh, yeah, you can, you can super troll. Um, when you have four people playing Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Toad, and then somebody is also doing the boost blocks, it can get kind of crazy. Oops. There you go. You didn't even need me. Um, but thanks for getting a gold coin. All right, so that's some cool uh, assist of gameplay. So it's basically Mario. I mean, this is basically Mario. If you've played a new Super Mario Brothers game, that's exactly what this is. The only thing you have is this block thing, which makes it easier. And, and you can tap bad guys. So, like, I can kill these these uh, uh, Koopas for you and make it a little easier if you're into that whole thing. Uh, which makes it good if you're playing with kids or something. Oh, no. I can't, unfortunately, block those. Uh, well, yeah, I can, it looks like. You just got killed by a Koopa. I don't know what these things even are, but they're they're mean. They're not good guys. Uh, you want to bail out of this and yeah. go see... Um, uh, uh, last thing to mention, you can play this with just the gamepad. That totally works. So uh, the, the Wiimote. So you don't even have to have the gamepad set up. You and can, this is a game where you don't even need the Wii Motion Plus. You don't, no. You can play... You can turn the display off. So this will turn it off. It wakes up when you hit a button or move a thumbstick or something. Mm -hmm. And you can play it with um, just on the display. You can play it just on the display as well. So... Like you could theoretically take this into your bedroom, not have a TV hooked up to One it. One room away. And just lay in bed and play the gamepad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, going to go back out. Let's, uh, why don't you, can you swap out the Nintendo, Nintendo Land Disc? And I'll go ahead and launch Zombie U and we'll talk about that next. Because this is, as a dude who plays video games and enjoys playing video games, this is the really interesting part about it. This kind of two screen, almost DS-like approach is super duper interesting from a, here's weird, weird things, uh, Weird things you can do with the games that weren't possible when you only had one screen or a TV or whatever. Launching Zombie U. It'll take a little while. Um, no is, disc swapping. No disc swapping. Because you bought this. Because I bought store. this from the eShop. Or Wii U shop, whatever the hell they're calling it. Nintendo store. Um, 
Worth mentioning, you can save your credit card information in the N N Nintendo store now. Ah, uh, how convenient. So you don't have to type it in every single time. I was pleasantly surprised. This game's actually uh, not at all. I was expecting kind of launch window trash, and it's quite good. Uh, it's kind of a roguelike. Uh, so you you uh, you basically start off as a dude who's a survivor in a zombie apocalypse. It's going to be hard to see because of all the bright lights, but whatever. Um, your inventory and kind of uh, mini map. You have radar. Your flashlight controls, items, and all that stuff are on. Um, you know. Loading. Yeah, more loading screens. Are on the gamepad. The actual world is on the on the screen. And there's some kind of cool stuff you can do. So is this a map on gamepad? Map inventory. and inventory. Plus there's some other stuff. Like you could, it, it does actually use the motion controls. So you'll hold up the gamepad and use it to look around, do that periscope thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't do that that often. And it's optional. You don't have to if you feel weird about it. Uh, you can also just press a button and use the gamepad. These load times. Yeah. Oh, my God. And this is... This is loading off a of flash. It's not even loading off of a disc. Mm -hmm. I, I hope I hope that the load times on the disc are better than on the flash, but maybe maybe they aren't. I don't know. Still going. Never stop loading, Norm. Oh, now it's not even letting us know. Wait, so. here we go. All right. Okay, so this is... We're getting right into the game here. Um, you've got, like, this controller guy who tells you what to do, tells you where to go. Is his name Atlas? His name is not Atlas. Damn it. But you'll note... I don't know if you guys can hear that. His voice comes out of the gamepad, oh. not out of the TV. Okay. Um, so this is a brand new life. I've started as a dude. I have so every time you die, is it a separate person that every, you spawn as? Every time you die, it's a separate person. The world is persistent. So when you respawn, then you have to go find your stuff on the old guy well, that's cool. who is now a zombie. I like that. It's, it's, I think it's pretty rad. You get pretty attached. It's like Dead Rising, except for you play different people. Yeah, and, and you do get an attachment to dudes. Like, I get really bummed when I kill a guy, and it happens a lot. Uh, it's when you let a guy die. I, I whoa, whoa, holy. That's a zombie. Oh, God. You gotta, you gotta look at your, this your isn't game gonna pad. Last long. Oh, my God. All right, let's, let's die and then spawn as a new guy. Hold on. I just did that. So the way you attack is you. Um, oh, crap. Okay, so I'm gonna keep beating these guys to death. I don't think I even have a. Oh, I do have a gun. I only have six shots. I really can't see the TV at all, though. It's, uh, it's real dark. Well, that guy didn't last long. All right. Sorry, Lewis Singh. One minute. That's what it sounds about right for a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I, I, he, he wasn't prepared. And so it's going to find another random person. They're going to wake up in the same space that you were. Oh, so, same space. So the guy in the gamepad basically is finding survivors using London's closed circuit TV network and directing them to this place. But why, do you, you, why did you wake up in the same room? But you go in and rest. So assuming, theoretically, he has directed them to this place, said, hey, you need to get some rest. Oh. And then uh... you wake up on the first day with a cricket bat and a gun with six shots. And also there's a whole boatload of zombies so outside. So you're in the same space. It's, it's not like you're jumping around in different spaces. No, you always start in the same place. So that was me. That was the last me right there. Oh. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the cricket bat. Oh, God, turn the light back on. Your light uh, runs down over a period of time. Oh, God, another zombie. Where'd he go? It's so dark. Why don't you have lights? Uh, the rules about attack, uh, zombies uh, like being attracted are pretty pretty good. Like They're attracted by light and noise and all the things you would expect to, to attract zombies. You do a lot of yelling and grunting. And I'm grabbing some ammo. That woman had ammo. That's awesome. Oh, God, I killed all the zombies. Thank goodness. Um, I can't tell if the if the your corpses persist uh, beyond you know one life. Seems like they may not, which is a little bit lame. Um, but basically, the the game works as you'd expect. The mini map down here in my lap uh, tells you how far away you are. You can see different levels on the map. You unlock the map through gameplay mechanics, of course. Uh, this is giving me notifications for other people in the game. Or, you know, it's kind of like Dark Souls, where you can get messages. It seems like. Uh, you have radar that pings and tells you where things are moving, kind of like an alien's uh, motion tracker. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have overall missions where you have to go out into the world and, and find new things and new places to explore. Um, so I, I, I quite, like, this is a real early game, obviously. And if it's anything like the DS and the, even the 3DS and the Wii, it'll take a while before developers really figure out what to do with this stuff. 
Um, but I, I feel like this is a pretty good start. This is promising. Um, and it's a, like, if you don't like difficult games, you probably shouldn't, shouldn't even start on this because it is a really hard game. It's, but it's not a frustrate. It's not, it's not hard because of frustrating reasons. Um, you can also manage inventory. Um, I need to find something to loot or an inventory box or something. Here we go. I can open this up. This is my chest. Um, and that goes right to your gamepad. Yeah, it, it picks up lock the gamepad. Whole new level. Uh, there is a there is a little bit of lock picking. It doesn't seem like there's a mini game attached to that, or at least not that I've seen so far. You need to conserve your flashlight uh, battery. It recharges over time. Oh, I'm I'm. But if you don't, you know, you don't want to be someplace in the dark. The dark is bad. It's not your friend. Um, and like I said, radar. That's pretty much it. Objectives will show up on the map. You can also oh oh the scanning. This is fun. It's kind of dopey, but it's fun. So when you hold down the left bumper, you can do this analyze thing where you move the gamepad around, mm. uh, and it's all motion controlled. You can also use the thumbstick. Is that uh, dude holding a gamepad? He is holding the the the. It's like his pip boy. Okay. Uh, you can mark things in the environment, find out what they are. This is a message somebody on the Zombie U dev team left. They say, "Don't trust this guy, who's talking in your voice." That seems like good advice. Uh, you can also find zombie bodies. I'll go find one real quick, and it'll tell you whether they have stuff to loot or not. Um, so there's a zombie body. Oh, it's already faded out. They go away after a while, which I find a little bit weird. Decompose. I suppose. And you get like a night vision, weird night vision kind of super scanner mode when you do this. Uh, you can use the stick to control it as well, though. And you have to tap on the screen in order to... Uh, do the actual scan. Here's a message. This one says, don't trust again. Oh, wait, no. So now, okay, so I've scanned the message. I can go into the notifications, and it should be there. I don't know why they're not popping up. Um, and there's a message printed on the wall. The other, This is the other thing that the game does. Hmm. They say, this is how many Breaking people have Breaking the first wall, fourth wall. Yeah. Like, these dudes actually beat the game in survivor <sighs> mode, which is incredibly difficult, instead of just very hard. Uh, like I said, it's it's neat. It's something new. I wouldn't probably buy a system for it, but if you have one, it's definitely worth exploring, as, especially if you like hard games. And when I say hard games, I mean hard, fair games, not hard, crap controls games. It's, it's very reminiscent of Dark Souls, but with kind of roguelike elements. So anyway, this is Zombie U. It has a terrible name, also. If we haven't all mentioned right. that. Now let's play something not hard at all. Not difficult. I'm going to grab you a. Do you have a nunchuck? You're going to need not, a nunchuck. I do have a nunchuck. This is after our interminable waiting period. Back to Nintendo Land. And this is the asymmetric uh, gameplay. We showed a lot of these games at E3, uh, both two years ago in kind of tech demo form, and then this year in kind of a more fully fleshed out form. Most of these are best with four players, or five players. One person on the gamepad, four people on, uh, on, the, uh, on Wiimotes. It's like boxing? It's not like boxing. So the difference between Nintendo Land and, say, your Wii Sports, which we're all familiar with, is that when you pick up Wii Sports, you know how to play tennis. You know how to bowl. With this, there's a lot more instructions. Mm. Reading. You have to Just do, what kids want to do a fair amount of reading. It was, uh, it, it, it's easy to pick up. It's stuff you can explain relatively easily. Um, it is not as much fun. So you start out in the plaza. Oh, i got to calibrate. How often does that pop up? This is the first time I've ever seen it. Right. Um, so, like, I'm controlling the view oh, on the weird. TV with the with the game. Shows right the borders. Now. Yeah, it does show the borders. I find that a little bit weird. Uh, typically, in this game, this is a game where if you're running the gamepad, you probably look at the gamepad more than the TV, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, when you're playing New Super Mario Brothers, which shows the game on the gamepad and the TV at the same time. You, you end up, like, I find myself watching the TV, the gamepad, uh, all the time. This is a single-player game, so I did this. Uh, Nintendo Land, there's also, you can also, like, get to the shortcut menu, which is what mm -hmm. this is. Uh, and it, it's nice because it breaks stuff out into competitive... Team. Let's do something a team attraction. Oh, the team stuff's the worst. Okay, it's um, competitive. It's weird to me that a full half of the game is the one-player stuff, which is much less fun than the, than the co-op game. So we'll do the sword game. So, the only 12 games total. 12 mini games total. Some of them are pretty deep, though. And okay. we'll, I'll show you a couple of them. Uh, so we're going to do two players. This counts as two. Yeah. Oh, you don't need the extension controller for this. Sayonara, Nintendo Chuck. Kind of racist, dude. Place them on a flat surface and keep them motionless. Okay. Wait, face down. 
face down. Oh. These are not flats here. Oh, it's close. We both had okays. Um, so I'm going to be that. You pick your me. I guess I I'll think that's you, I... Norman. Totally looks like you, dude. Totally looks like you. Um, okay. So this is this works like the old Wii games. It saves your kind of uh, status and achievements mm -hmm. and stuff on your me, uh, which actually works quite well. You can do oh level two. Yeah, that's the level one. Okay. I found that a couple of these games are quite good. Most of them kind of, there's there's not a whole lot of legs on. Uh, so these are the instructions. This is the short version. The very first time you play this, it gives you a really long version. Um, and I have to ready up by pressing both buttons on my gamepad. Should I look to how to play? Uh, yeah, why not? Nah, screw it. Okay. So you're gonna basically uh, beat stuff to death with the sword. And you're gonna shoot them. You, yeah, and I, so you are basically on rails. You can't control your movement. You just control swiping and shields. Um, I think you use B to block and, and yeah, that you, you got it. You're a sword master. Don't forget to use your shield, Norm. We're looking for the Triforce, which is the ultimate symbol of courage. So much talking. I'm going to skip. More loading. Uh, what? So, okay. There so goes. you see, I guess you see me too. I didn't know this. Or is this just, no, this is, this is the game. Oh, so I have to aim. Oh God. I forgot. You can't just, uh, you ready? I am ready. The grasslands. Okay. So you're not going to be able to see my gamepad at all, but it shows up in the, in the screen there. Uh, and, and I use the sticks to shoot arrows. I guess I'm on rails too. I thought I could walk, but I guess not. Uh, so you control a sword guy, I control arrows. It's really straightforward. Two very different game experiences. I can't walk and shoot arrows at the same time, it seems. Take those I'm stupid cows. Chaos your dudes. Oh, right. I have to go down to reload arrows. Block. It seems Block. like I can shoot right through you. Oh, you took damage because I wasn't covering you enough. Sorry, Norm. All right. So yeah, this is one of the games. And you can play this with, you know, up to five people. Five people total. Um, I think this is the weakest of the co-op games. The best stuff seems to be the stuff that we saw at E3 last year, like the Chase Me. The, like most of the competitive games are chasing or hunting type games. So uh, you want to do the game? ghost hunting one? Or yeah. you want to do Mario Chase? Let's do ghost hunting. Okay. You saw this at E3. You did. Uh, this, this, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, this does not work very well with two people. It is really, really hard. Uh, do the, do the second, the second one. The basement. So I think you hold uh, the controller like a gamepad on this. Nice costume. I'm a ghost. Got it. You, you, you dialed in, you ready to go? Got it. Okay, so I have to ready up. And I gotta catch you. You have to catch me, but you don't want to be caught by me because I will eat you. Wow, so um, definitely not a fun game to play with just two people. Well, the, you have AI buddies, but they are not particularly good. Oh, I wish you could press A to fast forward through this. Wait, I can. Oh. Well, no, I mean, like, it doesn't let you fast read the text, basically. Okay, lights are out. Now, I'm invisible. You can't see where I am, uh, but your controller will vibrate when I get close to you. So you'll know, or you'll be able to see me in the light. Uh, so when you have four players, the idea is that you... Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Uh, the idea is that you shout where you are and what color you are. Um, oh, God. Norm, you're much better at this than Gary was. This map's also a lot smaller. I like the lightning. The lightning helps. Protect me, my robot friends. Oh no! You've been eaten! Oh, that's game over. That's it. I have to eat you three times. 
Your, your, your robot buddies that just spin are patently unfair. Trying to min-max the lighting. Right behind you! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, this stuff is super fun with five people. Like this, this is, this brought back a lot of the, the joy of the original Wii um, when we played at Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm almost dead. Hey, Norm. Oh, God, I was about to turn around. They're too. always right behind you in horror movies. That's the way it works. Uh, there's a couple of games that, are, that have the same kind of basic mechanic. There's one where uh, this, this obviously, the person who has holding the gamepad mm -hmm. is it and is trying to tag everyone else. The Mario one is the other way around. You want to catch Mario. He has the gamepad. You can't see him, but you have to shout where he is. Um, I, I think that this stuff's really interesting, too. I like couch gaming. I'm, call me old-fashioned. Um, but I like sitting in a room with five people and playing games. I think that's super fun. And this one comes bundled with the black. This comes bundled yeah. with the black. It's free. Yeah. I don't think it's worth 60 bucks on its own. Yeah. Um, a couple other things to talk about. These games are, for the most part, $60 now. Uh, Wii games were previously 50 which is kind of a bummer. Go ahead and jump into the Mario game. We'll talk about that, talk a little bit as we as we wrap up. Um, but yeah, uh, this is it. I like... I like the, a lot of the concepts of this. I like the, the two-screen approach. I think that's really neat and potentially kind of interesting. Uh, I think that the memory, the, the load times are really terrible right now. Um, once you get in the game, it's not bad, but the, everything about using the menus is pretty awful. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I love this kind of party game stuff. I, I mean, I know party games, the Wii killed party games, essentially. But this, this stuff is novel and different and super fun and, and really sticky in a way that a lot of other stuff isn't. Find a friend that has one and bring over your Wiimote. That's exactly the thing to do. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the Wii U. I haven't seen this level yet. This is new. Oh, I have to press Z, L, and ZR. I wish there was racing. Uh, well, you know, I don't want to alarm you, Norm, but I bet there'll be a version of Mario Kart at some point in the not-too-distant future for this. That's, that's what I'm going to get. That's when you're buying into Wii U? Yeah. Well, I mean, in a, in a situation like you where you have a whole bunch of people in your house, I got to think that this, is, uh, this could be kind of interesting. Oh, see, I can see your face. Yeah, so you can see, and you see how far away I am. I got into the soup here, unfortunately. Oh, God. There we go. Chase. Oh, no, the soup. Yeah, the soup is bad. Uh, wow, one of the is AI buddies is... over the, the oh, previous God. version. I guess it's only... Oh, the soup. Well, so and, the, and the fact that they added the AI buddies helps a ton. Ah! You missed. So I can see on my gamepad where everybody is. And I'm also a little tiny bit faster than you guys, so you have to kind of head me off at the pass. Also, the ability to make the bridges disappear in the soup. Incredibly useful, it turns out. Um, and there are power-ups in the middle. Oh man, Yoshi got me. One of the robots killed me. Oh wait, I'm not dead yet. Ha ha. Ah! Gotta be faster than that, Chan. Oh god, I shouldn't have gone in the soup. Oh no, you're invincible. I'm so fast, I can run through the mud! Letting me get the mud was probably a mistake. So this is time-based. I just have to get away for 60 seconds and I win. Or two minutes, I think, actually. Um, this was also a big hit with five people, for what it's worth. Um, and the way it ends up is everybody is sitting in the room yelling, He's in the yellow, he's in the yellow, he's going toward red. And, you know, it's, it's dopey, but fun. Oh, you're getting close. Oh, you're such a filthy toad. I didn't realize these bridges don't respawn. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, and I leave muddy footprints. Oh, you got me. Nice job, Chan. So that'll do it, I guess, for the Mario, uh, the Wii U. Quick look. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the Wii U. 300 to $350. Uh, sold out in most places, but in the Bay Area, at least, I, I mean, that's still a few Targets. I would say watch Targets and Walmarts and Sears's and stuff like that. Uh, Amazon doesn't sell Nintendo hardware. Oh, look, it has a replay of what, 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 mm. where I ran, our pads. That's nice. Um, it's, it's not sold out. Every, I mean, you can find it if you look. I wouldn't go to eBay. I, honestly, unless your kid really wants one for Christmas, I would say hold off until next year. There will be, as always with launch consoles, there will be much better games six months from now. And even if your kid really wants one for Christmas, make them earn it. What, what, what would you do to make a kid earn a Wii U? Um, How many cars do you have to wash to get a Wii U? Uh, 
Car wash is uh, forty dollars if you go to the place. Uh, commit to one car wash a month for a whole year. Okay, I think that seems fair. Um, I I think I mean the potential's there, but don't buy stuff based on potential. So um, for tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye.